The MetaQuest 3 is probably one of the most imported products in recent years. Um, again, this is a mixed reality headset. Although it brought some really significant uh, VR improvement for VR, this is you can see on the Meta website, world's fast mass market mixed reality headset. I think not many people will disagree with that. Yeah, we had the Quest Pro, but you need to understand that as of the current price of $1,000, uh, it's not going to turn into a product that will be very popular. And you can see as of AlienInsider.co, you can see that the Quest 2 as of the quarter 4 of 2023 sold 1.1 million, where the Quest Pro only 25k um, units. A quarter four, 2023. So this is a huge difference, of course. And not just that, if you watch MetaConnect 2023, you can clearly see that the focus this year was, is on mixed reality. You can see Mark Zuckerberg actually showed the three main things, mixed reality, AI, and smart glasses. You don't even see the world VR here. Kind of weird, right? You don't see it at all. Mixed reality is the focus, mixed reality and a AI. Now you need to understand, right now, right now it's going to be used indoors, but once mixed reality goes outdoors, all these AI technologies will just bloom. And of course, this will change our lives forever. We are talking about, of course, glasses, small form factor that you can actually use and wear all day, and we provide us with endless type of functionality. Now, to be honest with you, what I think is once again, this reality will get to that point where it's outdoors and you have all this functionality and small glasses you can wear all day, people will be less in totally virtual environments. Now, you need to understand VR and mixed reality are basically now in one, right? The, the difference is that in VR, you're going to be a environment is totally changed and become virtual. But in mixed reality, you have partial of virtual, partial uh, the real world environment. Now, also, of course, the developers can create something where uh, it's some, something that combines the two, uh, where the real world physical space remains the same, but it's visualized and painted in a way that it looks completely different uh, than what it is in the physical real world physical space. Now, of course, when you talk about VR, we're just talking about replacing everything around us with totally something else, right? Uh, creating imaginative worlds that are very much different from ours. But the cool thing about VR is that it keeps the physical space um, in check, right? You can actually see the physical space and combines virtual content with it. You don't need to worry about bumping your controller against the wall or falling down or making sure you have space. You're going to see the space, the real world space uh, around you, but you're going to mix with virtual content. Now you need to understand high quality mixed reality was already there and it's still there on mobile. But the thing is we need to have our hands available for us to interact with the world and have it, of course, something that we can see with a large field of view, with high resolution, something that will just make the, the experience seamless, uh, part of the real world, not viewed from a very small screen of a mobile phone. Now, for example, this is an app, uh, this was uh, in uh, Portugal, uh, in Lisbon, uh, in an hotel, you can see that I'm kind of uh, throwing different virtual objects and actually scan the environment before, before that or during the app. And it's kind of way, it's kind of the environment. You can see the kind of, can just throw virtual objects and they collide with, uh, in this case, with the uh, with the um, bed and with a pillow. Virtual uh, objects can actually be hidden behind real physical objects, like this virtual robot hidden behind uh, the bed. So part of it is actually hidden, part of it visible. And you can see if I stand up, you can actually see that part is actually hidden. Again, it was a bit not too accurate, but you can see what I mean. See the hand, it's partially hidden, I moved left, it's visible. And this is huge, uh, you know, you could do something, for example, in this case, I just put water inside the hotel floor, so everything is surrounded with water. Of course, imagine something that looks much better and more accurate than that. I can even change the weather and make it rain. Well, inside the room, how cool is that? Now, you need to understand, this whole industry won't actually move unless these mixed reality uh, devices will go mass market. So when you are bringing the very expensive device to and that only few can offer, uh, you won't move it forward. It's going to be like the same with the VR. It was niche uh, and it is something that a uh, few actually were able to afford. And eventually, of course, we're going to have some quite a lot of apps with high price. Uh, but again, this is not how you move things forward. And what Meta did was actually bringing mixed reality to everyone. 
So again, we still had mixed reality, kind of, of course, in, in the Quest 2. It's not like it's totally new to the uh, uh, Quest 3 and the Quest Pro. Uh, for example, this is uh, something, um, a mixed reality type of game shooter. But I needed to set up everything by myself. It was very cumbersome, odd and tiring. Also, the feed, uh, camera feed was black and white. Basically, we need to take it to the next level. And you need to understand, many companies will now compete on the mixed reality space, especially after now that uh, Meta released this headset, the Quest 3, and uh, Apple will release their Vision Pro in 2024. So 2024 is going to be something insane. This is actually where we're going to see, finally, <laughs> finally, I'm telling you, finally, so many uh, mixed reality apps developed by developers to really try to take advantage of both the first party uh, features and the third party ones and really create something uh, extraordinary. And finally, users can actually feel comfortable to just launch an app and use it rather than, as you can see here on the Quest 2, trying to set it up. And it took me so long, I think like 20 minutes, just to set up a properly the environment before I was actually able to play the game and actually create a little movie with it. But no worries, there are plenty of uh, improvements for VR as well, including the screen resolution, the haptic feedback. Uh, again, it's more powerful now, so you have better visuals, again, as a standalone headset, you still can connect it to a PC, of course, if you want to. Ladder audio, improved controllers, and so on. Basically, lots of improvement all across the board. But again, uh, the, the game changer here is the mixed reality features. And now, finally, again, it's going to be very easy to use, so developers will be encouraged to create mixed reality experiences. And again, because of the different setup, it might be a bit more tricky to create different type of uh, games and apps. Again, it depends on the app. Uh, but in some other way, it might be easier because you don't need to create the entire world and use many different 3D models to create it. You just have the user's environment. But overall, this will change everything. And this will open up a whole new world of creative possibility for developers to create amazing apps and games for us to enjoy. So finally, mixed reality, mass market, and oh boy, I can't wait to try it. all these mixed reality apps. It's going to be amazing. So I sometimes just wish I had a really bigger space for, for, to, for me to enjoy it, because I think with bigger spaces and lots of different objects, some of the apps can actually be even more amazing. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Cheers.